Where's the start line? It depends on the race. So for the 3,000, it's over there. I think this... Mary Jane oh Richards gosh, set I'm records at this running it. track in the 90s. She was focused and fast. For close to seven years, she was coached one-on-one -on -one by Peter DeBrise. He was also her teacher at Bell High School in Ottawa. And he seemed to have this magic magic touch, so to speak, that was turning me into this elite athlete. She says he had control over her eating, and so sleeping, and social years. life. I mean, I guess now they call it grooming. Catherine Kirui, who's run That's some me right there. I think I was close to the beginning. The World Cross Country Championships in Spain in 1993. Richard says it was there her coach first touched her sexually. She was 16. And we kissed uh, once, and he was massaging me. Now it was without any, without any clothes on for me. Another athlete who competed in Spain remembers the closeness between Richards and Debrise. Maybe a couple of people were just saying, oh, I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what's going on with them. By her last year of high school, the two were having intercourse regularly. Another coach tells CBC he suspected something inappropriate was going on between Richards and DeBrise, and he spoke to DeBrise about it, but he never reported anything to authorities. Peter DeBrise has not been charged with any crimes. He did not respond to CBC's request for an interview. Richards says she never reported the abuse to police, only to the Ontario College of Teachers in 2019. But it has yet to hold a hearing on the matter. In an email to CBC, the regulatory body says, according to its rules, members who have a sexual relationship with their student, regardless of age and consent, are violating professional, ethical and legal parameters and it's considered sexual abuse. Richard says at 20, she had an emotional breakdown that led her to quit running. It's constantly on our radar. Education and sports organizations acknowledge they have to do more to prevent sexual abuse. The conversations that I'm having today about abuse in sport and what we need to do are vastly different from four years ago. That's little comfort to Richard. It's, it's a hard thing to shake. I think it's, and especially when it happens when you're so young, it almost becomes like a cornerstone of like your belief system. Her message now, if someone sees something inappropriate at school or in sport, they should say something. Julie Ayrton, CBC News, Ottawa.